Welcome to Summon Awesome Games. Good looking people, I'm Rob. We are playing Force Arena. We are taking a look at some new content coming out in an update soon. Probably soon. We have Supreme Leader Snoke and Elite Praetorian Guards. Look at this guy. Check this out. Blammo, man. He don't even shock you, he shocks the ground like a badass. Then these guys, they got their moves. They're stylish. They're very cool. So, we're going to be playing as Snoke. We're going to take a look at his abilities, all his information. Same with the guards. We also have a new mode coming. All Out War, where you basically just put your cards into a fight against someone else's cards and just watch them go to town. Like, not just a couple cards. A lot of cards. I, I don't know the exact amount of cards, but you just chuck in a lot of cards. Fortunately, we're on a private server with the developers. And we need an actual player to play against. And seems unlikely that you find a player. I don't know, we've, we've done our Luke Skywalker video, so if you haven't seen that one, go check that one out. Yes, Luke is a hero. What? Jedi Master Luke. Uh, but now we're playing as Snoke. In that video, I feel like I played a player. I'm not, I can't guarantee I played a player. Well, I feel like we played a player. So today, we might get lucky and play another player. Let's upgrade our Sand Ruby here. I didn't look at Luke's deck because... It doesn't matter. We're looking at Snoke and Praetorian Guards, so we're not going to look at the deck. The deck, I'm sure it's fine. There's a bunch of troopers there. Doesn't matter. We'll win, right? We'll still win. It's us. Come on. Supreme Leader Snoke. I did not see this one coming. I did not think they were going to have Snoke. The Praetorian Guards, I guess, yeah, I could see them being cards. So obviously, he had to be Snoke, right? This is like the first game where you will play as Snoke. Crazy. So, he's a leader, and he's organic. He's an attack power of 112, with an attack speed of 1.23 seconds. An attack range of 8. Quite a good range on him. Damage per second is 91, he targets everything, he only has 924 health. He's a crippled old man, of course he's got a little bit of health. Movement speed 2.9, quite, quite a bit of pace on him. Not too much pace, but good pace. Uh, Supreme Leader Snoke relentlessly harasses enemies using his force, his powerful force abilities. Though he has low HP and moves slowly, he's able to attack a maximum of three enemies with bouncing lightning. So, I just say he's got a little bit of pace in him. They're like, nah, he's slow. He moves slowly. I thought he was alright. He just wanders around. I mean, he can't sprint or anything, sure, but he just kind of wanders around. It's, it's suitable. It fits him. He can also use a powerful push that inflicts damage to nearby enemies while pushing them back. Unlike other leaders who move quickly when double tap, double tapping Snoke renders nearby enemies immobile. There you go. So like I said, he can't sprint, but he can do that. You double tap, he will paralyze enemies around him. Pretty cool. We'll try and see that. We'll, we, we, we will see that. I'm not gonna say we'll try. We will see that, goddammit. Enemy leaders who have been targeted by his skill are also silenced preventing them from using skills for a set time. Effectively shutting out the enemy's strike before it can cause a problem. Mwahaha, so we have Silence. Silence is enemy leaders targeted by his skill, rendering them unable to use skills for six seconds. And we have Push, 37 second cooldown. Quite a long wait there. Pushes nearby enemies back with a powerful push and inflicts 250% damage. Let's check out his happy little guards. Elite Praetorian Guards. The two elite Praetorian Guards use different weapons and provide different attack capabilities. The seventh guard uses Vibro Air Ar Vibro Arbor Blades? Yeah, that sounds about right. Rapidly slashing nearby enemies to inflict bleed. They bleed, man. So they're gonna die over time. The Bilary Electro Chain Whip Wielding Third Guard Whips Enemies. Hell of a sentence, causing them to go rigid. They are very effective against high HP, tougher enemies as each guard rushes to the other's aid when either Praetorian Guard begin, begins to attack an enemy unit. Uh, so, these, they're two, they're two different things. Look at this. So we have the seventh guard, he's only level two. Attack power 129, health 754, 4% bleed per second, attack speed 0 0.46 seconds, movement speed 2.3, deployment time 1 second. See, Snoke's not too badly paced if the guards are that fast, man. 
Damage per second, 280. Charge attack, 129. Bleed duration is 5 seconds, so you get a 20% bleed on someone there. Target everything. Range melee. Pretty much the same here, except a little bit, a few changes. A few, few, just a few, just a couple. Attack power 112, health 627, so he's got less health. Less health for him. 95, or 0.95 seconds for attack speed. But this guy have 0.46, so he's twice as fast. He's double speed, man. Movement is 2.2, deployment time is 1 seconds, damage per second is, 90, is 59, where this guy was 280. Stun duration is 0 0.8, targets everything, and he is a melee. All right. Let's take these guys out for a test drive, shall we? We'll jump into a one versus one. Whether we get a player, whether we get a bot, we won't know until we start it out. If we get to five seconds, it'll be a bot. It is gonna be a bot. It is gonna be a bot. Most likely gonna be a bot there. We're going to Scarif. They have added Crate to this game as well. So you get a new map. We get to play on Crate. We are, we are pushing it. There we go. Battle discovered. 18 seconds away. Maybe, maybe we will be a player. Maybe we will be a player. Um, probably not, though. Usually when we get the five seconds, it automatically just gives us a bot on this thing. But that one is a little... That was, that was a long wait. That was a long duration. Like I said, um, if you haven't played this game, totally play this game. Give it a whirl. This was the very first mobile game that hooked me. It's never happened before until this game. I was shocked. I was surprised. Never thought it would happen. A mobile game? Are you kidding me? They're not fun. Talk, what are you talking about? We can immobilize him? Yeah, you're not going anywhere, Skywalker man. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Go, Praetorian Guards. We'll drop our little sword-wielding friends. I'm going to stand here and cop some damage. Just because. Just because. Then I'm going to back it out. I'm going to piece it out. I'm going to get some health. See? Okay, Snoke is actually pretty slow. I thought he had a good pace. Now I'm actually playing him against uh, someone who's actually trying. I can feel, I feel the speed. I feel the speed. Whoops, I double tap there. So the double tap was the immobilizer. You don't want to double tap. We got a good force push. Uh, takes those chumps down. That's right, get out of here, Skywalker. I'm going to drop this goon here. Oh, I should have double tapped Luke. A double tap to run. Remember, you can't run. So double tapping, doing this like he would normal heroes, it wastes Snoke's ability. So that's something you got to try and get used to. It's difficult. Yes, it is difficult to try and remember that. But if you become a Snoke regular, I'm sure you will. So we immobilize. Ha ha. Suck it, Skywalker. Ridiculous, right? You can freeze a hero in place just by double tapping regularly. It's like a regular stun. You just go bam, bam. Stunned. Look at the speed it comes back. You've got a force push. Yeah, but who gives a crap about that? It's your, it's your little immobilizer ability here. That's the badass ability. Back away from me, man. Back away from me. Stun him. Stun him. Uh. Come on, double tap. Uh, not, go, not going anywhere. What an ability. How good is that? How goddamn good is that, man? Ah, uh, Snoke's gonna be a badass. So he should be. So he should be. I like that we're mucking around. We're crushing this guy. We're crushing him. He got the stone on us. Snoke's gonna die. Unless he gets out. Unless he gets out, man. He's out. He's out. Get the, give, immobilize him. Uh, freeze him up. Did he freeze him? I don't think he did. I think we got, I think we got taken out. That's alright, we got chumps coming. We'll drop our sand trooper in there. We could also just go in and force push him, that'll take most of him out. Take Luke down. Take him down, man. Immobilize. Frozen. Freeze. Come on, there we go. Nice! Look at it, look at that pose. He actually froze in place. Snoke rules, man. Snoke rules. You fools drool. Alright, let's move in. Let's crush him. Luckily this guy doesn't have an X when you crush crushes because all we've got is organic. Simple troops. We can freeze Luke again. Uh, give him a push. Get the hell out of here, Skywalker, man. You should have sent the Jedi Master Luke after us. Not this little punk. This guy's got no skill. He's going down. Freeze. Uh, done. Wookie frozen. Anyone in our range will freeze. So it's not just like you freeze one person, whoever you double tap. You double tap. He has a radius. He will freeze people. He will take down. He will froze Luke. He froze the Wookiee in the end there. God damn. God damn, man. That was... That was good. These are two great characters. If you haven't seen the Luke video, go watch the Luke video. Luke is a badass. R2 is a perfect help. Now we've got Snoke, 
who can regularly freeze people, has an amazing, humongous force push, and has these absolutely beastly guards. You put together a good deck for these guys, and you are going to be crushing heroes.